when it's time for me to order a genetic test, I always have the choice, do I order this myself or do I refer the patient to a specialist to facilitate that ordering or to do some of the additional counseling? I'm comfortable ordering it myself since I'm both a geneticist and a primary care doctor. I have the knowledge and the experience to explain to a patient exactly what to expect from this test. I'm comfortable doing the pretest counseling and explaining what we might find out from the test, what the potential downsides to testing are, as well as the benefits to testing. So that part, I'm very comfortable with. If I or another clinician was in a situation where there's some uncertainty about the risks and benefits, clearly that would be a situation in which referral to a genetic counselor or some other specialist would be appropriate. The tough part, frankly, and this is tough for everybody, is the actual steps of ordering that test. Getting the insurance coverage, getting the test actually ordered, identifying the lab, getting the sample collected and sent off to that lab. And unfortunately, at this point, we don't have good, easy answers to that. There are some companies that are working on making that easier for folks. And I'm hopeful that we'll see more such companies spring up and hopefully see the landscape change in the near future to make this more accessible. So selecting a lab for genetic testing is another big challenge. In some cases, a test is so esoteric there is only one lab. That's simple. In many cases, probably the more common case if we're talking about non-geneticist ordering tests, there'll be several labs from which to choose. In many cases, it probably doesn't matter so much. So simply choosing the most convenient, be that the lab affiliated with your institution, or one of the big national labs if they offer the test, oftentimes that's good enough. Sometimes that's not good enough. And in that case, there's no substitute for education and hard work. If there are different versions of a test that have different performance characteristics, the only way to get what you want is to know what you want, do the research, contact the labs, go to their websites, and understand who's doing what version of the test and which one is it that you want to get done. While I'm a huge fan of the electronic health record, there's actually a new obstacle that comes up now in that if you're practicing in a larger system, the EHR enables that system to more uniformly regulate what tests are made available. And it makes it easier to order tests that are on the menu, and at the same time harder to order tests that are off the menu. And then we have the downstream problem that when it is appropriate to order a test that's off the menu, getting that result back and into the electronic health record in a discrete way that it can then drive clinical decision support is another challenge. Sometimes there's just barriers to testing, be that from the EHR or reimbursement issues or lack of resources to do the counseling or lack of resources to get the sample ordered and sent off. So that's an appropriate situation, again, if you've got someone else to make that referral and let the support people help with that.